Welcome to my ACS Vanilla series and this is my Vanilla Gameplay 68 and I'm actually not going to be doing a gameplay in this one but I'm going to be showcasing you guys the different Nimbus disciples that I have been able to create throughout all of my gameplays and just show you guys my favorite cultivators who are also my strongest cultivators just to you know let you guys see what it looks like to have a pretty much a min mass Nimbus disciple fairly early on and if you want to be able to make a disciple just like these disciples that I'm about to show then I will encourage you to watch my last video in which I show you guys how to gather the items for a Nimbus disciple how to choose manuals that you want to learn for the Nimbus disciple and how to handle attainment with a Nimbus disciple so yeah let's just get into this video and I hope you just enjoy watching it there's not much to learn but I hope it's at least entertaining so thank you for watching and now I think I will go forward and just do like an extra showcase of like my strongest Nimbus Disciple because I've never shown anyone this really besides in the Discord and I do want to redo this over but it just took me a lot of effort so I'm just going to do a quick showcase on here since we're two hours in and if you stay for this long then you definitely deserve to see this so I'm looking through my fit save files. Let's see. Hmm. Which one is it? Um. Yeah, I found it. So this is my save file right here that has my best, my favorite Nimbus Disciple that I made everything perfect using the same methods that I did before. As you can see, I did this in day 56. And in this gameplay, I was trying to my best to like kill the dragon as quick as possible. And then I got stronger than I could ever even imagine. I mean, Tribulation 9. This is not Tribulation 6. This is Tribulation 9. Basically the hardest difficulty. So, let me go to day 56. Um, so, this is the numbers of the cyber that I have. As you can see, <coughs> they're in Supreme Yang for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. Maybe it was a talisman or something. I think I may have messed the save file up or something like that, but they, they should be... Um, pure yang anyways they have 248 battle power however they have needles of tribulations which are legacy artifacts that you can make with heavenstone law disciples which basically get increased damage based on the lifespan to age ratio and as you can see i have 1400 2140 age and i have 2143 lifespan so these are very close so i'm getting the maximum bonus from the needle of tribulation so that 200 and 40,000 artifact power is more like probably I would say like 700,000 artifact power and they have a lot of um, yang attainment and not a lot of yang attainment so they're getting the base bonus with this and then these are the items that they have equipped the spirit seed the spirit sword talisman dark armor and then the heaven shroud and talisman and then besides that these are the manuals that I learned pretty much before be coming in golden core as you can see there I pretty much like went more slim on that and then this guy has maximal protect level which I was able to max using the trick that I had and then there you only have 14 artifact mastery I don't know why oh huh yeah I don't know what's up with this save scum but I definitely can save scum back to see when I had like more artifact power for this guy anyways Hmm. Was there an item that I didn't eat? I could eat some more divine bones if I wanted to, too. Anyways, I'm on Tribulation 9 with this guy, and this guy has 1.8 million mass cheese. So I'll just show you guys how powerful this cultivator is after I eat some soul pearls to recover my chi. And also I wanted to point out that I did collect all those items by stealing with these disciples. 
And these disciples are not anything crazy. They have Golden Core 7, Golden Core 7, Golden Core 9, Golden Core 9, and then this guy ended up with Golden Core 333,000, and then 175,000. So that's like 500k Golden Core score. And then this one also has Golden Core 1, but it's also a low score. So basically, if you want to make a really strong Golden Core, you just need to have a lot of Primordial Spirits that can just farm all the materials needed and possibly steal the materials to make your main guy stronger. And these guys are all having stolen law, so I was able to get them to Primordial Spirit stage really quickly. And then besides that, they have some pretty good movement speed for stealing, but nothing too crazy. This guy even has two movement speed, so this is nothing like that's insane in terms of the first generation. Then I have this guy that's used to like do my derivative calculations and all of that, my little helper disciple. And I can show you guys what my array looks like. So I have two arrays. This is the one that I used for the Nimbus Breakthrough, and it was in the autumn season. And it's a wood um, breakthrough array, and this doesn't even have the dragon feces that I could add. And then just has his normal vine. And then besides that, I had this array that I used for my heaven ceiling god law guys, and I have this chi fountain. And as you can see, I also have the dragon um, things happening. So this guy was actually able to kill the flood dragon under the strongest difficulty setting that you can see on Tribulation 9. So this flood dragon is about 10 times as strong as the flood dragon and the vanilla gameplay. So you can only imagine how strong this guy is. So now that I have um, recovered my chi, I'm going to go into South Rock Palace, or actually I'll do Purple Cloud Palace because that probably has more elders, and pretty much look for an elder to show you guys the peak power that I was able to achieve on day 56, which is like pretty insane. And then besides that, I also did have a really big zoo. I was raising a lot of animals at the same time, so there was just a lot of effort put into this gameplay. So I so I wanted to show you guys a show that like I was able to do all of these things this quickly, but it wasn't super easy, you know. But it's definitely possible if you just follow the steps that I listed out in this video, which is like you steal the necessary items. So you basically just need primordial spirits that can go and steal these items. They don't even need to have good golden core scores, even though it is preference, it is preferable that you do have it. But it doesn't really matter as long as you can just get a really good Nimbus Disciple. And the hardest thing about getting a Nimbus Disciple on Tribulation 9 is having a Disciple with the stats to unlock it because they need like 16 intelligence and luck and to be a Golden Court Cultivator just to get the law. So now that we're in here, let's see where are these Disciples. I have my Disciple right here. There's some Elders around, right? And I'm going to go into Beast Form. So now my disciple is at 260, and then they have some spell damage bonus. Their vitality chant heals 299. Reverse the cycle heals 897,000 chi. So those are all pretty good, and I, I have some other spells that can help me out. So this primordial spirit disciple only has 125,000. That guy is not even worth fighting. I'm looking for a true elder. So this right here is an ancient cultivator. This guy has. Let's see. Nope, this is not an ancient quarter. This one has 247,000. Where are the elders? Hmm. So this area actually doesn't have elders. Ah, they're messing up my flow. I'm so sad about that. Okay, so on Tribulation 9, these elders, they have increased strength based on this buff right here. So this primordial spirit, he only has 200,000, so... I can just one shot him, so I'm just gonna leave and then look for some other elders. But sadly, I have to go back into my sect and then re eat the soul pro to increase my mass chi. So, pretty much just looking for some elders so that I can show you guys what it looks like to fight pretty strong um, enemies with the Nemesis Disciple. So, I came back, lost some chi, sadly. Um, let's see, do I have any items that I can? eat let's go to treasure I have a sage fruit and I have two ultra essences okay so my chi is up a little bit the good thing is I can use origin force now and let's see is there anything else that I can eat guess I can just go for the sage fruit again but I don't want to ruin their chi again by traveling somewhere 
And again, this guy doesn't even have that many sun pillows equipped. So let's go to South Rock Palace instead. I'm going to send my other elder disciples out to scout for elders at this point. Copper Tomb, and then I also don't have that many locations unlocked because it's still pretty early. Let's see where else would I try Thunderclap Cave. And then I actually cannot have this Origin Force on for this long because it's going to kill my disciple if I do. So I'm going to keep that off. So let's check out Mount Copper Tomb. And the goal is to pretty much look for a really strong elder to show you guys how I was able to, how strong this Nimble Disciple is. And how strong you can make one. Yeah, so these are the guys that I'm looking for. So this guy has 93 million chi and this guy has 69 million chi. So I want to go to Mount Copper Tomb to fight. So let's see. Alright, so now I'm in here and you know I'm ready for a fight. So again, I always name my Nimbus Disciple like Sir Cloud or Mad Lady Cloud, whatever. So this guy, 93 million mass chi, and I'm working with Needles of Tribulation, which is a very overpowered legacy artifact and arguably the strongest artifact in the game. I did save some of these so that they all have around like 120 power and I'm at 260,000 artifact battle power with that and then I have all of these items equipped including the mod item that I had in the last gameplay so I'm going to start this fight again 1.8 million match chi versus 93 million match chi let's see how this goes hopefully this other elder doesn't jump in and help so yeah you can see this elder is getting shredded absolutely shredded look at my disciple they're losing some health but you know we can we can fight it we can fight through it you know, we just got Vitality Chant, very similar to the Tribulations, and uh, yeah, Elder Down. Again, we're ready for another fight. 60 million match G, let's go. This is day 57, by the way, guys. Like, just look at how powerful these Nimbus Disciples are. And they are this powerful because they get double artifacts from their um, Primordial Nimbus Spirits um, manual. So as you can see, uh, you can't really see it, but... These needles of tribulation are doubled up, so there's 12 of them instead of just six. So anytime I'm taking damage, I'm actually only taking damage from the spells that they're casting, honestly. So when these ancient cultivators use these different spells, they actually do massive amounts of damage. So as we go through their cultivation page, they have like these that just do mad damage. But besides that, their artifacts aren't touching my disciple at all. They just aren't. Vitality chant. And then I can just pop a soul pearl if I need it. Like it's really nothing over here. And it, this is even just even like slightly hard because I don't have like I'm not in pure yang. I'm just in supreme yang. Vitality chant again. Elder disciple down. 69 million mass chi. So I'm already at the point where I can farm elders on day 57 with this save file because. I was able to use those methods to like really make this nimble disciple really strong. So as you can see right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's probably two more somewhere. So this guy technically has twelve artifacts because of this manual right here, which is a nun manual. If I can find it, uh, let's see where is it. It's called Primordial Nimbus Spirits. No, not here, not here. 
It's just so hard because okay, here we go. So, mode two primal nemesis experience with the law of nemesis conquest. The primal nemesis experience use swords and cast spells the same time as the cultivator does. So this guy actually has a shadow that helps him fight. So let's see. You can see the shadow right here. So the shadow right there is actually doubling up the artifact. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve artifacts. And that's why nemesis cultivators are very old power in it in the league of their own. So I'm actually going to go back and saves come to around the time when I beat the dragon on this just to I guess brag and then show you guys even more power of these Nimbus disciples so that guy was able to solo an elder and I promise you that like on tribulation 9 fighting elders with like 90 million match chi none of my channel cultivators can do that they would have to use like a really big formation that's super strong to even be able to compete against the elder so Nimbus is really just in a league of his own. So let's just see. And I've done this multiple times by the way. Like that's not my first men match Nimbus. So let's see if I can just go back and look through my save files. This is why you always want to have save files. Okay, I'm going back into my save files. I think I found the save that I want. Then I want to get another save file too. Let's see. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. I'm looking for yet another one. So I'm going to show you my world records on killing the dragon. So I have t these two save files right here. This one is called, I just named it ED test because this is when I was first testing out my Nimbus plan. And this is day 59 where I'm doing the dragon, right? And I pretty much use the same game plan, but I think in this one I was on the canyon map at the time, maybe. Okay, so this is in the canyon map, but I do have another one where I did the same thing, but on the canyon map. Uh, maybe that was on a different type of disciple. So anyways, I have this disciple around the same artifact battle power, 223,000. And we're in pure yang this time. And again, they have to protect those masks and then artifact mastery, level 50. They're barely at zero entertainment. And I consume like all of these divine bones and posi fruit, etc., etc. So, yeah, Vitality Chance that they don't have as much spell power as the other one had before. So, I don't even think, I don't think this guy can kill others, honestly. But they do have 800,000. So this is when I was just first testing out the concept. So let me just move forward with increasing their chi. And again, this is a pretty bare bones set. I don't have that many disciples. I just have these guys. Let's see if I can check out their stats. So I had this bear right here. Tier 4 golden core. Tier 8 golden core. And then, so yeah, this guy was just pretty much carried by three disciples yeah so a tier four golden core and a tier eight golden core and then this guy was the primary symbols guy that was just used to make the talisman so again if you want to get ahead in this game you just need to have some really good disciples that can um set your guy up but like i'm not saying make a nemesis disciple but you can do this with like any different law but it might just require a formation for other laws to do the dragon this early so we're on day 59 and I should have my dragon cave somewhere around here yeah so if I just anger the dragon then that will start the fight but let me just double check everything and again in this situation I just have a low age and a low lifespan because I didn't quite understand the concept of increasing my um, disciples age 
but I'll actually go ahead and do that now so if you want to increase your disciples age like rapidly you want to do the shape lift shape shift tribulation first but I don't even know if I can do that right now because my age and lifespan are so far apart that I might not even do damage so let me just see if I can just pick up any artifact that I know will at least do damage so that it can probably carry my disciple so this one artifact should be enough to make it so that I can pass the shapeshift tribulation with the stats that this guy has so this is when I was still learning so I'm going to do the shapeshift tribulation and we destroy that instantly and then I'm going to re-equip this needle of tribulation so I actually left room for lifespan so I can use a weather miracle but besides that go into beast form use origin force and I'm just going to show do this as a showcase so I don't want to use the weather miracles to get all of this stuff from the dragon so I'm going to use meditation Origin Force with Meditation will severely reduce your, I mean increase how fast you age. So let's see how that looks. Okay. So as you can see, my age is just rapidly going up and the how you make Origin Force stronger is you just want your age to be close to your lifespan. So this is just dangerously close right now. So that's why I like to now increase my lifespan to like um, 40,000 or something like that. Not 40,000, like 2,000, sorry. So now my Needles of Tribulation will be pretty strong. And now I'm in Beast Form, so I have 229,000, I mean 229,000 artifact battle power. So now let's summon this dragon. So this is the Tribulation 9 dragon. This guy has 40 million MSG. And they are really hard to kill, honestly. And I do have other gameplays, which I've shown you guys, like how to do this even without a Nemesis Disciple using a formation and low golden core scores but I'm going to do it with a Nimbus Disciple now so as you can see the Nimbus Disciple is making pretty good work of the dragon you know nothing too crazy they can just solo the strongest dragon just very casually just continue to use you know reverse the cycle if I need to and the mentality chant so the dragon doesn't really do any damage to me And again, this is day 59. With just one disciple that was just carried by two. So Nimbus is strong. And guess what? I'm going to go back and then show you guys what it looks like to do this on the other guy that I just showcased. Um, no more pop-ups, please. It's charging up this number one attack. I don't even think it's going to have a chance to use that attack on me. I uh, didn't really do any damage anyways dragon is done and we're on day 60 now let's go back to my other game stop file <laughs> like I really do this like I <laughs> like I really play this game like this is basically what I'm trying to show you guys like so when you guys try to you know like if you're gonna learn something you might want to learn it from me because I yeah I play this game that's all I can say <laughs> like I have just have so many gameplays where I've done this and then even in my last series I killed a dragon on like what day 80 where so let's see if I can pull up some other um, Dragon Games. Let's see. Yeah, I did Dragon on day 78. I'm looking at my save files. Yeah, I probably did the early Dragon like at least three or four times. Anyways, back to this one, which has my Disciple and Pure Yang. I don't know why they were in negative. Um, they were in Supreme Yang that one time, but anyways, 319,000 berry power, so they definitely can kill the Elder. The same artifacts as before, 
and this is before I killed the dragon I believe so if I can find the cave where is it it's over here so again this one has the other method where I drastically increase the age and lifespan so that the ratio is closer and I still have more lifespan to move around with so now I'm just going to activate origin force I mean I think everything is pretty much good with this guy and we're on day 55 okay these pop-ups are crazy I should have sent those guys to ruins of Taiyi at the time and this guy has a 44,000 artifact power bonus whereas in the other one they had an 18,000 artifact power bonus so you can see it's pretty much a big difference and this is kind of like what I was going for in the in this video but I don't think I was able to do it just because I was just dealing with so many other things again same dragon day 55 they had the increased strength modifier from being on tribulation 9 40,000 mass chi again and then you know I just have four fodder disciples that I used again you don't need good golden core scores you just need bad golden core scores to make that one good guy so let's see how fast this dragon dies on this guy honestly it's really just the pop ups I mean the dragon is not even doing any damage to me so yeah kill dragon on day 55 with the nemesis disciple these guys are just very overpowered so that's why you might want to actually watch that we'll go through those full uh, two hours of actually learning and yeah and then also when you're fighting dragon you want to have those spells that target all enemies like this right here so just to kill all those annoying monsters that spawn okay they became sentient in their natural environment so I got an achievement that's cool but yeah this and this sect is you know nothing too crazy I just had like a small patch of spirit so there's some lotus fruits and then my typical like same setup I did want to create those legacy um, needles of tribulation like pretty quickly so I just had like all heaven still and disciples so that they can craft them and then just four crafting tables out in the open because to craft legacy artifacts you don't you don't need anything but 20 artifact crafting level and then I just needed some anchor soul gems to be able to refine them to tier 12 Ooh, talking for two hours and 30 minutes straight is really taking a strain on my <laughs> my voice but yeah that's pretty much everything and I think this video I think in this video I pretty much fully encompassed everything in terms of like building a Nimbus Disciple and also how to collect the materials early besides the fine details of how to steal and I I also was able to show you guys the power of a Nimbus Disciple and how even on like day 55 they can kill dragon pretty effortlessly and they can also solo sect elders that have like millions of chi so then besides that I do also want to show you guys the other side where it's like you don't have to do this on a dragon so I mean on uh, ne Nevis Disciple so I'm thinking this was the one that I had my Nevis Disciples I think this was the other one where I was testing the concept so let me just bring in this save file And I'm hoping that eventually I can like fully cover all this information. So in this save file I have, I'm on day 71 and I'm pretty much ready to fight the dragon and I have some cats. I forget how many I'm using in this formation. Looks like I have four cats so. They all have around 6.1 barrier power. This must be the main guy. They have 203,000 artifact power and 9 barrier power because they're using the secret codes of Tai. They don't even have Vitality Chant. And then besides that, they just have Marble Swords of Tiles, which are tier 11, and they were created by this guy, who is a Primordial Spirit, um, Grand Chariot Wisdom Cultivator that I spec out to be in my artifact character they just golden core 2 nothing too crazy this guy's golden core 4 this guy's golden core 5 golden core 5 golden core 5 
and then golden core fives are fine with sunflower refining because they get the bonus 200 and I think 225,000 match chi in total from this earthbound chi manual right here so this guy only has 300,000 match chi but that's pretty big for a golden core five guy so you can effortlessly get to 300,000 match chi on your cultivators if they're a sunflower and they're all around like 300 to 400,000 and I don't even think I consume sun pills on these guys really yeah so no sun pills very bare bone I stole these delicious from Mount Shu to increase my number of artifacts and then besides that this guy doesn't even have artifact mass to increase so it's very bare bone so pretty much you can also kill the dragon if you have a formation and you just have oh these are annoying Let, I'm so sorry if you guys have been listening to that thunderstorm for this long let's see do I have chance of cloud dispelling on any of my disciples apparently I don't how was I ready to fight the dragon without chance of cloud dispelling Okay, let's turn off that thunder. So yeah, these guys, they don't have much in terms of their stats. And as you can see, we're on Tribulation 9, which is the highest difficulty. We're only on day 71. And I was able to min max and get these guys to be pretty strong without, you know, investing too much. These guys only have a base T bonus of 538, which isn't much. But I was able to get the formations from the Beast Cave and from getting the Summer and Winter Herb so that I can create this intricate formation node. And my formation has a formation bonus of 428%. And again, I'm using Needles of Tribulations. Oh, actually, I'm not using Needles of Tribulations. If I was using Needles of Tribulations, then I would be even stronger. But I'm not even using those. I'm just using Marble Sword of Tile. So I'm at 230 so with a 400% bonus, it's going to make it like 500% damage. So I'm about at about like 1 million artifact battle power. And then besides that, you know, I just use randomized sex. So this one just happens to have a bigger patch of spirit soil. Array is nothing too crazy. Just a wood array and then an earth array. That's usually what I had. I think I was getting this guy ready to be another Nimbus disciple, but I'm not sure. Oh, this was the disciple that I used. I actually grabbed Nimbus and I used the Heaven Sent Natal Talisman just to get that intelligence and luck, which is required to grab Nimbus. But you know, got the standard workstations, Hellgate, nothing too crazy. A couple of Ender Disciples, a couple of Auto Disciples, since it's limited on Tribulation 9. And yeah, pretty much at the point where I'm ready to fight the dragon. So I can show you guys what it looks like without Nimbus Disciples to do it earlier even though that's not wasn't even the point of this video but I just didn't want to make it look like if you were playing you needed to have a Nimbus Disciple to do great things because that's definitely not the case but they do go above and beyond the other guys so as you can see I'm doing damage to the horn right now so let's see if I can just target a body somehow So as you can see, I'm doing damage to the body. It's not as much as the Nimbus Disciple, but it's it's killing it, you know? And then I would just have to change my formation and just actually do a little bit more management with this guy. You know, just continue to fight. But they are definitely able to handle the dragon, as you can see. And I just like to save up my formation energy, and I'm not... So then you always want to have these spells that target visible enemies so you can kill the boars and other animals that the dragon spawns. Then of course these guys should have soul pros equipped and stuff like that, but they don't. But you know, I'm getting through. This one is exposed, but they're not even taking that much damage. And we're pretty much halfway done when it comes to killing the dragon with, you know, not too much. I think whenever I get two nodes exposed, I'll change my formation just so that I'm not having to change it too much. 
And then, you know, when you're fighting the dragon, sometimes you need to get a little bit closer to do more in damage. So right now, the dragon is charging up his most powerful spell, and it's not really doing anything to me. So let me just continue to get closer. And we're chopping the dragon up pretty easily. And now the dragon is actually at half health. They're at 23 million. So this is just me showing my many ways that I've killed the dragon. And usually like when I'm actually doing these gameplays, I'll actually go for like all of the dragon parts. Because I just don't like to not get all of the parts from the dragon. So the fights are typically longer. But I'm just showing you that like yeah. You don't need to have the best golden course course. You just need to have some cheese, some barrier power, and some artifact power to beat the dragon. So again, I have my formation. So let's try to refill it up. We're at 14,000. I think it probably just hit us with something big. And again, I don't even have Vitality Channel on this guy. So you can only imagine like how long ago I did this. So even though I'm still an experienced player with like, uh, I think I have like at least 3,000 hours in this game. Like there's still so many things for me to learn. But there's also still, I believe, so many things for me to teach. Even though I feel like with this vanilla series, I've been able to teach you guys a lot. But I may have to just skip over that Nimbus Disciple because the one in my vanilla series that I'm thinking about, ah, oh, it's just so stressful thinking about like trying to fist their attainment, saves coming to Origin Forces again, like that's just a lot. So let's see. I think it's time for me to change the formation to fist the stability. So you know, this is like a two day fight. I think I started on day 71. But yeah, as you can see, dragon is down. So now I can cancel the formation, dispel the clouds. And yeah, we just killed the dragon again, legitly with not too much. But yeah, for them to be able to kill elders, they would I would probably need that formation and more need of the tribulation, probably even more things on top of that. So yeah, that's just the difference between uh Nimbus Disciple and other Shandal Disciples, but at the end of the day, you can do a lot of big things with pretty much anything. And this is Tribulation 9. If you remember in my vanilla series, I beat the dragon probably like really late, I think like on day 80. And, or even, I think maybe even like, yeah, day 80, and then I dominate sex on day 50. But the thing about Tribulation 9 is almost impossible to dominate sex with Shandal because they have so much chi that they're always refilling their formation. So that's just the difference, but if I'm really hyper focused on killing a dragon, then I can do it. And I believe that you can do it too. You just need to focus on getting those primary spirits really quickly so that you can just start or just having sunflower disciples and just maximizing everything that you can based on the things that I say. And feel free to ask me any questions in Discord. But anyways, I think that two hours and 30 minutes in. It's time for me to come to the conclusion with this video and let me delete all of these older save files that I brought back to life. And then this file actually is something that I was working on where I will show you guys my full process on doing the dragon early. So hopefully that is like very useful. But yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something or I hope you I hope you learned a lot because I spent two hours and 30 minutes on this and I hope you definitely fully are able to grasp what to do to reduce attainment on Nimbus Disciple, what manuals to take, um, just how to build a Nimbus Disciple overall, the different saves comes that you need to have and how you need to keep the UI up while learning the manual so that you don't mess up like I kind of did in the run that I did. Um, I hope that you also learn how to learn how to use that protect um, that trick to increase your protect to maximum value for low attainment and all of that other stuff. These are things that took me like months to learn. So I hope that this two hours was worth saving you guys that time. And if you watch this for two hours, honestly, I really appreciate you so much and thank you for watching. And I hope you have a good day. And yeah. So I'm I'm just thinking like how can I get people to watch these videos and like
this one long video. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I would either have to like split this up into two different videos and do like a part one, part two, and part three and just upload them on the same day to make it feel like less of a hassle, you know? So maybe I'll just do that, but this would basically be like, this is one video. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later. And that concludes my showcase of all of my Nimbus Disciples. Thank you for watching video 68. And again, if you want to learn how to set this up so that you can have Disciples as strong as the ones that I just showed, then go back and view my, la my latest video, which is video 67, in which I divulge all of my information and everything that I know about creating a Nimbus Disciple. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.